Hello and welcome back to the channel. This video today is a tutorial on how to make a pull-up doll yourself. So the first thing I did was I actually sprayed it with a few layers of MSC and if you don't know what that is, that's Mr. Super Clear. You can buy it on Amazon or some craft stores. Now after that, once it was ready, I started putting on some blushing underneath the eyes and I added like a ready pink color for this particular doll. I'm using makeup brushes because I'm not fancy like that. And here I go adding some on the forehead as well, which I added a little too much as you can see, but that will be fixed later and it should be fine. Um, I also used a little bit of paper towel to get any excess off. And my little brush for the lips. After I finish adding some on the lips, I'm going to brush off any excess with a different makeup brush that's a lot more fluffy. And I add some on the nose as well to add a little bit of cuteness. I just think it's really cute to have a blush nose. I do that with my real makeup too. This doll is kind of inspired by Barbie, but um, I used a skipper outfit that I found on eBay for her. Um, she is for sale if anyone's interested. Um, I sell her on my... <laughs> I just dropped something in the video. Um, I sell her on my Instagram, which is at the Pull Up Fairy. And I'm adding all of the eyeshadow, which is a pink color. Um, it's different from the red that I used for the other blushing. And then soon, I think I'm going to add the bottom eyeshadow which I will use an orange color for that to match the orange on the outfit. I brushed off a little bit of excess there and as you can see I'm a little bit chaotic. I keep dropping things. Um, that's also because of the camera. It was very difficult for me to film with only a phone so I tried my best and I'm adding some orange to the bottom lid just to tie in with everything the doll has. She's going to have a blonde wig, so pretty soon I'm going to add eyebrows in a yellowy brown color. A little bit darker than the hair so that it matches. Um, if you would like a video of how I put the dolls together, that's a little bit more difficult, but I can try to do it because I know that some people find it difficult to put the dolls together. And I'm adding more on the eyelid and underneath as well in the orange color. Some of the materials you will need include brushes, pastels, and high quality watercolor pencils. Mine are not super high quality and some people might see the package and be like, what is that? I'm not sure if they're high quality or not. I just bought ones that I thought were good. I don't know if they're good. I, I saw good reviews, so I thought they would be nice. I have to redo the eyebrow multiple times. One of my eyebrows looked great, the other one not so much. So I ended up erasing it and doing it again. And I tried to erase the second eyebrow, but it wasn't really working, so I just tried to um, make one eyebrow look better. And I add more to the forehead because you can never have enough forehead blushing. I sometimes use a ruler to get things a little bit more accurate. Now, um, this is after I sprayed again. So I have to reapply some of the uh, eyeshadow to just to make it uh, continue to pop underneath the eye. And here I go doing the inside of the eye to make sure that the eyeliner looks more clear. I ha I think I already drew the eyeliner on off camera, so I'm sorry you didn't get to see that. It's very difficult for me to draw eyeliner on camera. I've tried multiple times. So I drew under the, under the eyeliner, like the lid. I made sure to get that covered up so that when they're blinking, it looks nice. I don't know why I used the bottom of a pencil. That was probably a very stupid idea, but that's okay, you should probably use a high quality uh, eraser instead. That's just what I had on hand and on my desk and I panicked and I erased with a pencil. So 
Now I'm adding the white um, to the eyelashes, the bottom of the eyelashes. And again, I apologize if you see my head a lot in the video. I tried to edit it out as much as I possibly could. I drew the eyelashes partially off camera, but when I um, found the video, uh, all of it was my head, so you could not see what I was doing. I might try and refilm another time, but the first time I filmed it was even worse than this, so I figured I would make the video. Um, and then you can see the finished product. And here she is all put together. I don't know what her name is yet. And here are my favorite corduroy um, pants. And she has a bright pink shirt. She's still available if anybody wants her. Um, I have other dolls available too. I almost tried to put her bag on her foot. Yes, I did that. And then I made her little bracelets to go with it. Thank you for watching. I hope that was a little bit helpful. Um, and I hope you have a great day.